Hi, my name is Sarah Rubin, and today you've joined me for marketing modules all about marketing to different generations. So really the first thing to remember is that effective marketing must be personalized. And, the, and it's truly imperative that you keep in mind that each generation thinks, communicates, and receives marketing materials differently. How one person or one generation may receive the information that you are putting out there in terms of marketing will most likely be completely different than those in a different generation or who are looking at your marketing through a different lens. You have to think about your audience from a generational perspective in addition to many other perspectives when you're creating marketing materials. As you continue down, to the, down the modules for marketing to different generations, this is what will be covered. We'll go over marketing specifically for baby boomers, Gen Xers, millennials, and Gen Zers, who they are, how they communicate, and how you can most effectively reach them. And then perhaps most importantly, why understanding different generations is relevant to real estate. You can find out information about characteristics of the standard or stereotypical um, baby boomer or millennial in a variety of different places, but these modules really focus on how it impacts you as a real estate agent and your marketing as you try to attract different clients. And then lastly, we'll go over what you're missing if you communicate in a one-size-fits-all fashion. Why does that not work if you just send out one mass mailer or one email or one social media post to really hit all of your different potential clients? So again, in the marketing to different generation modules, we'll cover baby boomers, Gen Xers, millennials, and Gen Zers, who they are, how they communicate, why it's relevant, and what you miss if you don't tailor your marketing materials. I look forward to talking to you more in depth in each of these modules. Thank you for joining us.